Hi, it's Jamie from Gilbrook Farm. Today I want to talk about how to save some money on cleaning products. So welcome back. Today I wanted to talk about how we can save some money on cleaning products. Now, before I went down the homesteading path, um, I used to purchase a lot of cleaning products. I spent tons and tons of money on buying specific products for specific things that I wanted to clean because I'm a bit of a cleaning fanatic. So I would buy, buy uh, Windex for my windows, Pledge to dust with, um, scrubbing bubbles for my shower, uh, shower spray for my shower walls, um, counter spray for my kitchen counters, uh, floor spray for my floors, it, it just tons and tons of products and it was adding up to be hundreds of dollars that I was spending. Uh, when I started going down the home setting path, I started analyzing what I was spending my money on, and I realized that this is a ridiculous amount of money that I do not need to be spending. And after doing quite a bit of research, I narrowed it down to three products that I need to buy to clean my entire house. And these products are fairly inexpensive. Um, one's not, and I'm going to explain that one in a minute. So the three products that you need are distilled white vinegar, and you can get this on sale most times of the year for a pretty cheap price. Um, baking soda, which I have on the floor here, I have 50 pounds of it that I buy in bulk from Azure, and uh, I put it in a five gallon bucket. And also sal suds. Now sal suds is a product by Dr. Bronner's. It is expensive. Uh, it is about 15 to 20 dollars for the small bottle and upwards of about 45, 50 dollars for the big bottle depending on where you get it. But you only use about a teaspoon to a tablespoon for each bottle that you're making. So really this is going to last me probably two years, maybe longer, um, depending on how much I'm cleaning. So really this is a good investment. It's, it's a lot of front, but it's a good investment. Now the only other product that I sometimes use is essential oils. Uh, that's just to scent one of the products that I make, um, which is my scrubbing spray. And you don't have to use this. This can be very expensive as well. Um, so you can not use this if you don't want to. Um, I just like to add a little bit of scent. Just be cautious of whenever you do buy these because they can drive up the price of your cleaning products. Okay, so let's talk about how I use these products. Um, first of all, the products that I purchase for cleaning are also used for other things around the house. Uh, my distilled white vinegar, I also use that for canning. Uh, my baking soda, I use that for cooking. I also use it to make deodorant and to make toothpaste. Uh, the essential oils, I use that to make coop spray and some other scenty things around the house. Okay, so what do I use these products for? How do I use this for cleaning? For the distilled white vinegar, if you want to clean your windows, there is absolutely nothing better than distilled white vinegar. Uh, all, I use it straight. I don't mix it with anything. I just put it in a spray bottle, spray it on my windows, and wipe it down. Now you're going to ask me, does it make your house smell like a salad? For probably about 10-15 minutes, yes, it will smell vinegary. And then it goes away and you don't smell it anymore. Um, honestly, that's a little bit better than the smell of chemicals if you ask me, but it's gone in 15 minutes. For my kitchen counters, this is what I use. I have an old method bottle here. You can tell which products I used to buy. Uh, all you do is fill it up with water and add about, I would say, half a teaspoon, or I'm sorry, half a tablespoon of the Dr. Bronner's. Shake it up. And I use this on my counters. I keep it right on my kitchen counters, spray everything down. I have the same product in a different bottle for my showers. And my, I use this to clean my kitchen sink, or my um, bathroom sinks and the tops and outside of my toilets. Same exact thing, different bottle. Clean my floors, same exact thing. Uh, now this is an old product that I used to use. Oops, I don't have the uh, replacement bottle here, but this is an old product that I used to use. I do not buy this anymore. What I do is I I hack the lid, you just use a wrench to cr crank it off, and then I do the same thing. Fill the bottle up with water, add about a tablespoon, uh, half a tablespoon to a tablespoon of the sal suds, shake it up, and then I use that. If this machine, this mop ever would stop working, which it's already clogged on one side, um, all I'm going to do is put that in a spray bottle, spray it on the floor, and continue to mop. And uh, just so you know, I do buy the reusable um, washable pads for those. I think I got those from another store off of Etsy really handy and so you don't have to go keep buying those pads. And finally for dusting, same exact thing, I'll take this same product, spray it on my 
wood tables, wipe it down with cloth, and you're good to go because this is this product here. It's biodegradable and it's made with uh, pine oil and spruce oil, and it's so it's good for wood. So that is uh, how I clean my house. I only use three products, and sometimes I have uh, some essential oils that I add. And I forgot to mention, the most important one is the scrubbing spray, or the scrubbing powder. Okay, so this is nothing more than a jar of baking soda. And if you want, you can add some of the essential oils to it. I usually add about 10 drops to this whole bottle, shake it up. And what I use this for is to clean out uh, like say the inside of my toilets. I'll sprinkle this around the inside side of the bowl, use a brush to scrub it out. I'll also sprinkle this on the bottom of my shower and use it to scrub up my shower. If there are any stains, like uh, shower stains from hard water stains or um, from uh, yellowing uh, from your water, depending on how, what type of water you have, you can sprinkle this down and then put some white vinegar on top of that, let it sit, and then you can scrub that up and it's slowly going to start to remove any of those stains. Also what I use this for is for a deodorizer. I will sprinkle this on my couch. I have a microfiber couch. Um, sprinkle it on my couch. Let it sit for a couple hours or overnight. Vacuum it up the, in, the next day or in a couple hours and you're good to go. It makes the couch smell really good. So that's it guys. Uh, really, you only need three products to clean your whole house. These products are versatile for other things in your house. and. Um, that's it. It's going to save you a ton, ton of money. I suggest you try it. Go ahead. Give it a try. I'll leave a link for where you can get the sal suds uh, down below if you want to give it a try. Um, really just give it a try and let me know what you think. If you guys have any tips or tricks on saving money with cleaning products, feel free to leave those below. And if you have any questions or comments, leave those below as well. We want to hear from you. Thanks for watching and we'll see you next time.